Hey everybody, glad you can make it. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make a basic ring, the kind of ring you can wear on your finger. Something really simple, but you know, pretty something pretty cool that you can wear, but something not too complicated that you can't, you know, enjoy making it. So luckily Tinkercad comes with some tools that make it pretty easy to make. Okay, so first we're going up to the shape generators and we're going to go under the Tinkercad tab. And right here, they already have a ring made. It's a, I believe it's made just for that very purpose. So we drag it out. Okay, hit F to frame it. So it's pretty simple. You have the height which uh, we should go up which adds a uh, height to the ring just like it says and the diameter now the diameter on this measures the inside diameter of the ring which is what you want particularly if you're going to be making a ring that's the uh, that's the information you need so that you can size it properly then down here, this actually controls the profile. And the profile is, if I turn this, this is the profile right here. So if you take this, these little vertice points on these Bezier splines, if you pull them out, you can, you can cr change the shape of the profile. You can see. So now, what we want to do is we want to create a ring, and we want to put a uh, cut out a shape of that ring. Then once we have that done, we're going to take it over and we're going to set it up for printing. So next thing we need to do is you need to find out what your ring size is. Now, if you're the ring sizes vary depending on where you live. If you happen to live in the United States, there's particular ring sizes. And then if you live in other parts of the world, they follow a different type of ring sizing. Now, depending on where you live, it has a big effect on what your ring size is. There's different ring systems for measurement of your of your ring size depending on where you are in the world. And the United States has a particular ring system, ring sizing system, and Europe has a different one, and China and India have different ones as well. So one of the ways you can figure out what yours is depending on where you live is you can go onto the internet and you can type in ring size in on your Google search and I've clicked on the Wikipedia um, so you can find your ring size find out what, what your ring size is and what ring sy size system you use by going on the internet so I'm going to go on a Google ring sizes okay and we're going to go to ring size Wikipedia and as you can see here the conversion chart for ring sizes shows you all the different size systems United States Canada and Mexico go by one system the UK Ireland Australia New Zealand go by another system China Japan and South America go by another India has its own and Italy Spain and Netherlands and Switzerland have their own system so since we are, since I'm in the U.S., I'm going to follow the U.S. system. So what I need to know is the diameter for my ring size. So here, they have it broken down inside diameter in inches or millimeters. Inside circumference is different. 
the circumference is the length of all this going around the inside of the ring. That circumference diameter is going from the inside to the other to the other side on a ring. So I need to know what my diameter is. So I'm going to go back up to my Wikipedia page and I know I'm roughly a size 11. So right here it says sizes so I'm going to follow the number down to 11. And then I'm going to go across to this column which is the millimeter column. So it's right it's 20.57 is my ring size. So if you know your ring size you can use this to figure out what it is in millimeters the diameter of the ring that you need to make for your for you to fit for your ring to fit you properly um, so now that I know my ring size I'm gonna go back so 20.57 I'm gonna type in 20 and there I have a ring that's 20 millimeters wide, but I need it to be 0.57, 20.57 in diameter. Now, unfortunately, this uh, diameter size only goes up to 20 millimeters. So there's a workaround for that, for those of you who have bigger fingers. If you have smaller fingers under 20 millimeters, then you're fine. For those of you that don't, that have big fingers, I'm going to show you the workaround. So I'm going to go down to the Community tab. I'm going to close the Tinkercad cab and you're going to go to tab 10 and high res tube. I'm going to drag that in. The high res tube on it, under its diameter has a greater range. So I'm going to use that to get the exact size I want on this ring. So I'm going to go over here to the diameter and put in 20.57. All right, there we go, 20.57. And then I'm going to align these both on, with the align tool. All right. So now these are perfectly aligned. And if you want to know for sure, There you go. So the inside diameter is 20.57. So in order to get the inside edge here along the outside edge of the cylinder, I'm going to have to scale this ring up. And I'm going to use that to make sure that this is measured properly. So what I'll do is we're going to go to the corner here and we're going to hold shift on the keyboard and left mouse click and we're going to make this a little bigger. So now in order to make sure that it's the right size, you can always just use the align tool. And then we can just look on the side here. So you can still see it's still a little big, a little small. So just make it a little bit bigger. So same thing. Left corner, shift. All right. Now we're going to do the adjust again, align. And then we just do a check. There we go. Perfectly aligned. Okay. Now we have our. We don't need this anymore. So we delete that. I'm going to change this back to solid color. So our ring is at the proper size. Now we want the height. So I want the height to be roughly about a half inch in width. So I've re I went and checked. 
So a half inch in millimeters is 12.57 millimeters. 12.7. There we go. So now I have a ring, the proper width that I want. So now I want to make it a little thicker on the outside. So I'm going to map, I'm going to move, change the profile. I'm just going to take this, which is the outside profile. And I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. set up. So in the next video I'm going to show you how to put symbols into your ring. Thanks for watching and if you like what you see and you want to see more don't forget to subscribe.